Hi everybody, this is Valentina from The Real Italian Kitchen and today we're gonna make carbonara. So the first thing I did for carbonara was to put large pot of water on the stove to boil. Um, the pasta that I'm gonna use is uh, spaghetti um, by De Cecco and they need to cook in abundant boiling water. While that happens, I prepare, I grate the cheese that I'm going to use, which is going to be half parmigiano reggiano and half pecorino romano. And uh, I'm going to cut my main ingredient of carbonara, which is, well, actually it's guanciale, but you can't get it here. So I'm using pancetta that I bought on supermarketitaly.com. You can find a detailed list of the ingredients in the more info area below the video. So let's cut it. I've never tried this, so I'm really curious. It's vacuum sealed. And what I want to do is just cut, cut into little cubes. Warming up the non-stick pan and I'm just gonna throw the pancetta in it and I'm gonna let it sizzle, let it brown and it's gonna create its own oil, its own fat. So I'm not gonna add any. Go back to the grating of the cheese. Cooking time for the spaghetti is nine minutes. Um, I'm going to cook it for seven minutes and then check it and see if it's al dente, which is the way I like it. Our pancetta is definitely ready. Look at how golden brown it, it became. It's nice and crispy. I'm going to turn the fire off and just let it sit there for a second until my spaghetti and my eggs are ready. Break the egg in a bowl and then whip it with a fork. One thing you can do to make sure that the egg is not too runny in the pasta is um, to pull the egg out of the fridge earlier so that it's not fridge cold and warm it up in some warm water. And I also warmed up the um, the glass bowl with some warm water as well so that it doesn't it's not gonna cool down the pasta when we throw it in there strain the pasta make sure there is no extra water in it and just mix it in with the egg see beautiful the parmigiano mixed with the pecorino a lot of it and the pancetta with all its beautiful natural fat. This is for two people and I used approximately 150 grams of pasta, which is a fourth of the box. There it is, it's done. Serve with some more parmigiano or pecorino on top and uh, if you like it and you can have it some pepper it's delicious on top of it alla morte sua how they say it in rome and i hope you enjoy it. i hope you try it thank you for following the real italian kitchen ciao ciao